It's a really big endorsement, and I think William Hague carries uh, a lot of weight. Uh, Tim and I um, uh, know all, all these characters, as you do, Esther, quite well. And, of course, William was the in opposition for the entire um, years, the uh, 13 years under Labour. So I think he knows a thing or two about um, not taking the electorate for granted and making sure that we win the next election. I think that is one of the principal reasons that I'm backing Rishi Sunak. I think he's got a better uh, economic programme, but I think he's more likely to win us the next election. And that's what the opinion polls show uh, as well. Now, I was going to say you, you needed some endorsements there. We've seen the other contenders uh, going to uh, Liz. I'm also looking at the sort of the bookmakers odds. And I have to tell you, they would have had it uh, last week that it was all over but the shouting. But the uh, polls are closing. And who knows, with that announcement today from Liz that she's just reversed on, things could be changing. Do you think that's the case or do you think you're just a, a close second? Well, I think we are um, catching up, actually, Esther. Um, the poll this week of Conservative councillors, which is quite a good proxy, I think, of the overall membership, um, showed it to be neck and neck. Um, it's quite difficult to poll Conservative Party members, obviously, because only the Conservative Party's got the database of who actually is a Conservative Party member. Conservative councillors is obviously, you can check that. So I think that's quite a good proxy. Uh, what I would say about Liz's announcement today is, um, look, I mean, we know that this is something that was knocking around as a proposal in the coalition government. Um, I think the Lib Dems were actually proposing it uh, at the time, um, but it was rejected for good reasons, that um, it really um, is going to be a very unpopular policy outside of London and the South East. I'm not even sure it'd be a popular policy in my constituency either. Uh, the thing that confuses me a little bit, though, is that I think Liz was saying that her policy has been, I think, willfully misrepresented, you said, on the introduction earlier. And I'm just reading her press release here, where it says Truss's government will save up to £8.8 .8 billion a year by replacing national pay boards with regional pay boards. This will make it easier, I'm reading here, to adjust officials' pay, ensuring it accurately reflects where they work and stops the crowding out of local businesses that cannot compete with public sector pay. I mean, I, I, I think her press release overnight was absolutely clear what um, the policy was. So I'm, I'm confused about the U-turn um, because I don't think there's any willful misrepresentation here of what her policy is. I mean, you could give her credit by saying she's being absolutely explicit here uh, that what she's talking about is a reduction in regional public sector pay, you know, precisely the thing that was rejected by the coalition government uh, probably about seven, six or seven or eight years ago, um, which would see the pay cut of between uh, about £9 billion she's pledging to save from regional... Greg, I was sector. there when it was uh, when it was chucked out in the coalition years. So it was one of those policies that we talk about being uh, dusted down off a top shelf and brought out.